Hi everyone, Teacher Christina here. Welcome, Monsieur in the background here. I wanted to make this video about the mentoring session, part of the hiring process with Say ABC. There are a lot of great videos and resources online about the evaluation class, how to pass, how to get hired, but not a lot regarding this mentoring session. I don't know if it's new to 2019. I know a lot of people bypass the mentoring session and head straight to the evaluation class. So perhaps that is a factor, but when I was going through the hiring process and I had this mentoring session coming up, I was looking all over YouTube and I couldn't find too much about it other than the fact that you might skip it if you did so well in your interview. So just in a nutshell, Say ABC is a company based out of China and if you work for them or you're interested in working for them, you would be teaching online English as a second language to children in China. You probably know a lot about ESL companies by now if you've landed on this video, but if you don't, um, welcome and enjoy. So for my mentoring session, it was about an hour long, but prior to that, I had to fill out a quick screen on the Say ABC website. I passed all their screening credentials, and then I got invited to either choose to do a interview on Skype, or maybe it's through the Say ABC platform, I'm not sure, with a real person, or to do a pre-recorded lesson of myself delivering a lesson, pretending that there are kids responding to me. I chose that option. It just it fit in better with my schedule at the time and the idea of talking to an adult that's pretending to be a child and trying to teach them just it's a little unnerving to me. I'd much rather teach the actual children and get marked on that. I know I'll, some people will tell you they like the preparation of doing the role play back and forth and it definitely is useful, but I just find it a little awkward. I'd rather them just say, here you go, here's your class, teach it, we'll tell you how it went. So I have passed my evaluation class. I am now a teacher with Say ABC. I am hired, but while the mentoring session is fresh in my head, I wanted to talk about that. So you are assigned a class essentially and your mentor is someone who's already a Say ABC teacher and you can go into the Say ABC platform on your computer. That's where your mentoring session takes place and there will be a PowerPoint sort of different lesson slides. So if you are scheduled for this mentoring session, I recommend before your mentoring session just to kind of click through it so you have some exposure, you know what you're going to talk about and <laughs> It started, she logged on, she was like, hello, hello. I was like, oh, hi there, nice to meet you. She asked if I'm nervous about this. I said, a little, I just don't know what to expect. She said, we're just gonna have a chat. I was like, okay, cool, that sounds great. So I honestly thought she was just going to go slide by slide and tell me about them, which that was the majority of it, but every so often she would be like, hmm, look at this, a game slide. How would you teach me this if I were five? And I would, I hate being put on the spot. Another reason I probably chose the demo interview. So I was like, oh, oh just let me think about that. Thank you. <laughs> um, with every lesson on say ABC, to the right, there is teacher tips and it kind of just tells you what you should be doing for that slide, sort of instructions for what to do but they're not always so clear. They're not always the most helpful, which she told me that. So that's another reason the mentoring session was useful. She could be like, yeah, this slide isn't helpful, but here's how you can do it. So, excuse me. Um, so we would go through that. I would teach her a slide. I would, she was very patient at letting me just glance at the teacher tips and then try to come up with something on the fly. And then she would immediately give me feedback. So the first feedback she gave me was that she was looking to see whether or not I would drag her onto the stage, which just means I would take her little picture at the bottom of my screen and drag it onto the PowerPoint. So it's like she's participating in a game. And 
she told me to speak slower because I was speaking too fast. It's hard for these kids to learn English if you're speaking too fast and to give her as a student more time to talk. Ideally, the students should be talking more than you as the teacher because they're there to practice their English. And so as it went on, she would go through some slides, explain them to me, didn't ask me to teach them all, but then every fourth slide or so, she would say, how can you teach me this slide? And I, once again, I would be like, give me a moment. I would look at the teacher tips and then I would jump into it. Then she would give me feedback and then we could, would continue on. The whole session did last an hour. She was very helpful, very thorough. She answered all of my questions. And after the session was over, she sent me a long email of a list of things that she felt I did well and a list of things that she felt I could improve. If you have made it to the stage where you have a mentoring class booked for you, don't be worried about it. It's not, it's not an interview. It's not something you have to pass. After this stage, after you do this mentoring session, then yay, you're free to schedule your evaluation class. I had a little bit of a hiccup where I did the mentoring session and then online it wouldn't let me schedule my eval class and I was getting very impatient, but I just emailed my recruiter and she had to reset something to allow me to book it. So I booked it and like I said, it's a great opportunity just to ask any questions you have or concerns about things like classroom management or the platform itself. One unique thing was when I told her that I did the demo interview and I even said, you know, I did the demo interview, like the mock interview by myself teaching a lesson because I was kind of nervous. So she was like, oh, are you nervous about this? I was like, I, I don't know, kind of. Um, she did tell me, well, there's two things that you wouldn't have been able to do in the demo interview. And that is one, bringing her up to the stage. So she showed me how to do that. And then also kind of getting her to use her mouse and scribble on the screen obviously there were no actual children in my fake prepared lesson but and the other thing was delivering a reward card so she showed me those two things and some people don't even get scheduled for this session I think that if from reading different forums I think that if you don't get scheduled for this session but you want the mentoring session you may be able to request it um, if you didn't get scheduled and you're just ready to jump in to teach the kids, like I probably would have preferred if I didn't know how helpful the mentoring session was going to be, then congrats, you passed. That's great. Um, it was just very useful overall. It's nothing to be scared of. It's not a test. I just get that stage fright when thinking about teaching an adult that's pretending to be a kid, but it wasn't so bad after all. So I hope this is helpful. I realize it's a little bit of a ramble, but it's some information out there. So please let me know if you have any more questions. And <coughs> that's it. Um, I will put my referral code down below. If you don't have a code, feel free to use that one. If you do have a code, that's great. And also, if you don't have a code, you can still apply by going directly to their website. Bye, and thank you for watching.